Well, Paul, it wasn't dull, was it? It wasn't. Uh, I said to the players before we played Buxton that the, the championship, the stages of the, of the season, it's like like a boxer when you go into those final rounds. That's where we're at. It's about winning games of football. and We're still hanging in there. We are still here. The group of players showed unbelievable character yet again. Yes, we want to come and win and win well, but it's about winning. It's about winning games of football again. We're still hanging in there. My concern in the first half was that they all say you got to score any good spells. You had plenty of good spells and didn't score until right at the death. Right? Yeah, we've done that a lot this year. A bit frustrating. We had a lot of, I wouldn't say clear chances, but decent chances with a lot of, a lot of territory. Uh, and then we get the goal late on. We, late on in the, the half where Skins playing across to, to Willow, but uh, I thought we controlled large parts of the first half. Uh, disappointed not to come in with, with more goals, but didn't probably warrant more goals in terms of clear chances or anything like that, but overall we're pleased. And they had a good strike that actually went in, but was ruled out for offside in the end, but it took the referee to go across and speak to the assistant, so that, that was a tense moment. Really. Yeah, it was. Uh, when I first seen it, I thought we got away with one, if I'm being honest, but then I've seen it again and there's, there's three players in front of, front of Pondy, so brave from, the, from the, the assistant, so fair play to him for getting involved, because it would be easy for him just to, to let the ref deal with it, so... Uh, yeah, we uh, again. I thought I got. I thought initially we got fortunate with it, but clearly it was it was a correct decision. Second goal again came at a good time. I know it's never a bad time, but early in the second half, double the lead. Yeah, we just emphasised the players that will Bambi will, will come out with a reaction. Uh, it's important we start the second half bright. We get the next goal, which we did. Uh, then the madness happened for the last 15, 20 minutes. Just. Everything that could have happened, happened. I, I made a change to try and tighten up the middle of the pitch and get our wide players on it a bit more. And then, I think, 15 seconds later, you penalty down and you look and you think, could have held on for 15, 20 seconds. But that's in hindsight. Uh, and then again, yeah, the madness happened. There was sending offs, there was stoppages in play, there was, there was uh, chances for, for both teams. And we were just fortunate, but really proud of the players. The skin, I, Eric Skinner, well, I understood that because he did put him back. You can see that. Nathan Cameron, he got booked when Hereford got the penalty. Is that where the first booking came from? No, the first one was down in front of us. Uh, the ball went down the side. He said that he's pulled the lad. And, and to be fair, I don't think he has. And I think the linesman's almost agreed with us. But the ref made that decision. And then the second one, he's went to ground when he's on a yellow. Uh, same with Skins. Skins was booked, I think, early on in the game. And then... Stiff goes a full back because when, when someone goes past you, you almost, in that instance, skins his character is to try and get back and try and win the ball back. But with a little bit of experience, you've just got to accept that he's beating stand still and let him beat you because you're on a yellow. So uh, you've just got to let him almost get two or three yards in front of you, then try and gather the pace and the momentum back up. But again, we showed unbelievable character. It's something that we've, we've spoke about time and time again. Actually, before this morning, before I came to the game, I, I looked back and... Nine times we've came back from losing positions in, in, the, in, the, in the league this season. Nine times we've won, I think we've won seven of them and drawn three, uh, won six and drawn three. And some we've got some really, really good returns in terms of, of being behind. So the character's unbelievable. But I said in, in the, what day we on? Monday. I said on Monday that we don't want to rely on that all the time because we, we can't be looking to score two and three goals every game just to get a point or, or, uh, or anything more. So, overall, really proud. Again, just as I touched on at the very start, we're still here and we're still fighting. Realistically, you came in there and you had to win, really, to stay in the mix. You've got the main result. Okay, with two red cards, but you got the, what you came for, really. Yeah, we did. I think that's what we're on now, 66 points. This club finished on 55 last year. We've still got three games to go. We're still looking up. We're still supporters again. I've got to, got to have a special mention to them all. I, I apologise to them because I always seem to forget, not forget them, but my emotions are that much on the game as in thanking them after games and stuff like that. But they were uh, they were they were excellent. As soon as I remember as soon as skins went off and went down to the nine men, the first thing they done was cheer, get behind us and drive us and we needed that and and uh, they were as important as what the players were to get three points in it. Regroup now and go again Saturday at Scunthorpe. Yeah, regroup. We've we've obviously still got last miss tonight. Uh was on the pitch beforehand doing a bit of session because we've not had the chance to train for a while to be honest. Uh, Ollie Southern's still got a bit of a sciatica pain, so he's still out. Hopefully we can get him back for the weekend. Uh, we probably won't, in fact, we won't train tomorrow, because lads are up working, etc. Uh, we won't get much out of them tomorrow, because they won't be doing much, so for them to travel. 
into the training ground to do little. Uh, we thought we've we've gave them a few times this year where we've uh, we've put the responsibility on them in terms of looking after themselves, being professional, and they've never let us down. So as a manager, you've always got to give them that opportunity. And then if they let you down, then you come down on it. But the lads have been exceptional. They'll they'll look after themselves. There's good characters in there, and. Uh, We'll be ready to go. We know it's going to be a tough place. We've played two games in three days. Uh, we go to a team that I think the home record's really, really good. But we, uh, we'll we go there to try, try and win the game and try and get a positive result. Well done tonight, Paul. Thanks. Thank you.